never spoke on the Memphis situation. You walked you walked off the uh the Memphis show. Who? You talking about that pimp that that nigga there? The pistol starter shit, yeah. Was that wait, we never talked was that scripted? We never talked about that. What's good? It's your boy Streets One on TV back with another one. Alright. So we gotta talk about it. Clout chasing. Will you niggas please stop clout chasing? I'm talking to all you niggas out here that be doing shit for views and stupid shit. I'm talking about like stuff that could get somebody hurt. You feel what I'm saying? Niggas liars ain't that important to be out here clout chasing to become famous or get some views. Like niggas is out here doing too much. Let me just say that I ain't never been no clout chasing dude, never. As anybody that know me, they'll tell you. Um, I just feel like that cop chasing shit be fake. And I don't deal with fake people. I can't be around fake people. You know what I'm saying? So that's why my circle smile now. Because I can't do the clout chasing. I can't do the coattailing. I can't do the you one way when I see you, but you this way on the internet. Like, I don't do none of this shit. That's why, you know what I'm saying, I'm a loner. I tend to be by myself all the time because I don't be dealing with a lot of fuck shit and fuck niggas like that. Let's just get that out the way. Secondly, this Charles the White situation with Pistol Starter. Uh, shout out to Say Cheese because I just seen an interview today and Charles the White, answered, he actually responded to like how that whole situation went. I didn't know that situation went like that. But if y'all don't know what I'm talking about, check this out. What would you do if I slapped the shit out of you? Oh, uh, you gonna die? <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you talking about Hollywood? Yeah, you gonna die. <laughs> I, I, don't, I, don't know no, I don't know no man you can slap and you wouldn't die. You might slap a boy. Type shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah you might slap a boy, but nigga die slapping me. So though, he said nigga Facts. gonna die behind them words for real. Words, man. Yeah, for even thinking about it. You nigga, say what's up, my oh, nigga. Right, what's up with you? Shit, you got. Man, they gotta be out there. Damn, mine said they gonna slap me. Man, you heard what I said? Oh, he gonna die. So you don't got that. You don't got that. I got it. Yeah, I got it. Shout out to white nigga came up in that joint real quick. Who said who man? What's going on? Niggas ain't going for this shit. Y'all niggas better stop playing out here. I came in, man. Pump faking, dog. God said his boy came in here quick. Man, hey, my nigga right there too. <laughs> what is you talking about? My nigga right here too. What is you talking about, man? I didn't know he grew up. I didn't know he grew up. Told you what's gonna happen before he walked in. Oh, it's crazy, God. man. Man, in my city, man. I shut shit down. I shut shit down. I shut shit down. I can't. <laughs> Come on, man. Stop it. Man, stop it. He pump fake it. He pump fake it. Hey, nigga, you know that nigga be pump faking. I <laughs> done been in the city. He pump faking. Man, he nigga be playing. Yeah, how's this in your city, Hollywood? Tell us. How's this in your city? All you gotta do is Google me. I ain't gotta Google nothing, nigga. You do. Hey, he probably needs some melatonin. He's a good ass nigga. You probably need some melatonin. Hey, get him some weed. Hey, man, listen. I, I, I know a nigga called Dolph Land. What's where your land at? What is it, Olive? Mm. I ain't got no land. <laughs> mm. The fuck? Man, I mean, how much, how much land you got? How much land? You said, you said Dolph Land. I said, how much you land you got? City. It is. Listen, when I talk to my city, the mayor, listen. The G niggas, listen, I done disrespected every gangster, crip, vice lord, GD, BD in my city, and I ain't nothing happened. In my city. Type and shit. I feed the kids. And I bury the dead mama's babies. That's my city. That's how I can talk. And I if you do my name, the newspapers document it. He just talking mm. about this his city in a corner. It I is. <laughs> the seventh time, I ain't seen you nowhere outside these walls. 
or more, I done got irritated. Cause this conversation ain't got no suck. A nigga talking my city, but don't own nothing. Where you own something at, my city? I don't need Jays. Yeah, I bought these. Talking, nigga, I bought bro. these shorts. Jays, bro. Young, dumb nigga. Jays. Nigga, my city talking ass nigga ain't got a goddamn thing going. Y'all see Nick, so hopefully that interview refreshed our memory of what I'm talking about. But anyway, today Charles the Wright responded to that interview, and this is what he had to say. Was that wait? We never talked. Was that scripted? We never talked about that. No, nah, that wasn't scripted, homie. That's why if it was scripted, them niggas would be flourishing right now. But it wasn't scripted. And, Damn. and that little nigga called pussy. He came back and apologized, but. The Superior Shop, homie, they booked me to come do the podcast. But they thinking I'm the kind of nigga you can give clothes to. So they think they can give me all these free clothes and get no nah, nigga. <laughs> I ain't that, I don't know about these clothes. Oh, uh, and they think Uncle Weenie. So these are the, these are the foreigners, Arabs or whatever, Palestinian, whatever the fuck they is. So the, 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 the Superior Shop, whatever they is, homie, they done set this up. I don't know this. Damn. They done set this up to go like this. I'm the dummy don't know. I'm coming in thinking, because I like to do good business, I'm thinking we building, hey, okay, y'all gonna pay me for the podcast, but I ain't gonna take no clothes, but I'll take some clothes. But, so, when I get to the shop, he following me. Saying, oh, man, shit, I used to be, boy, you spending big money, man, buy me something. Say, <laughs> nigga, you all up on me for a nigga. So I instead had to check this nigga because I thought he worked there. So I see he the big friendly sloop for the nigga, <laughs> out of shape, you know, don't pose no threat. So I, I handle him how I handle him. <laughs> so when we sit down, in my mind, I'm saying, well, what this nigga here for? Mm. The, the A-Rab dude ain't saying nothing. Mm. So I'm saying to myself, that yeah, nigga finna try to get, let's get this content. Wow. Thank you. Gonna give me some clothes, but try to stage a situation to try to make me look like a hoe. I didn't even know my little partner was out there with that pistol. So when a nigga asked the question, it shook them up. But I had Sane with me. I had my nigga wine. So they don't know, nigga. We got some niggas. We, we finna turn that bitch up, little old nigga. You just, and, and I got some shit on me that'll hurt everybody in this room while I'm by myself. Nigga, you just talking, nigga. Mm. So, uh, so nigga, I went to checking everybody after that, homie. They went to trying to kiss ass. It's a video. They went to all on side. So the little pistol nigga said, man, they told me to say that. So when I checked the A-Rabs up, was, oh. they tried to play like they didn't tell him to do that. But they set that up, homie. So I'm saying to myself, homie, what kind of niggas will get with these, pal these foreign motherfuckers to try to go against a nigga that's been really represented in the, in the black community, my nigga? Yeah, we've seen that time and time again. It seems like when you do those hood interviews, no, no, this ain't this ain't no hood interview though, homie. It, it be people setting this up mm, for a reaction. It be, but now, homie, it's some people really want to try to make me look like, try to get me in a situation and say, ah, oh, we got it, we got, we hold him over here. But homie, I'm gonna die and somebody gonna die in these situations. So that's why the prices go up now. Just talk to me. So they y'all heard it from Charleston White, man. He said that them folks got their man down here to Memphis. He thought it was just gonna be a regular podcast and them folks, man, got on some other shit. Like, I'm like him though, it would have been better if they had just staged it. They would have done way more numbers than it did. And you can tell he kind of didn't do what it was supposed to do. That's why I was kind of like, I was thinking to myself, maybe that one stage, but he, Charleston White never spoke on it until now. So, Man, I just want to say, man, stop fumbling the bag, bro. No, no, win to cloud chasing, win not to cloud chase. I don't condone cloud chasing, period. But I'm just saying, man, if you gotta do this shit, like know when to do it, know how to do it, man. Arrange it the right way, and you will get a lot further. You know what I'm saying? Cause, man, somebody go die in these streets playing. Like, motherfuckers go die in these streets playing with the wrong people, man. You know what I'm saying? But, man, anyway. Man, make sure y'all like, share, subscribe. Man, leave your comments. Let me know what y'all think about what Charleston White said. Let me know what y'all think about how Superior played it, how Pistol Starter played it. Leave y'all comments in the box. I want to see 
what y'all think. You know what I'm saying? But anyway, uh, this streets want to know TV, man. And I'm out.